When looking at the fossil record and trying to list the most significant events in our evolutionary history, you might want to list the earliest known fish species able to survive at least temporarily on dry land. You might also want to list the first known ape fossils which, just like us, appear to have walked on two legs. <laughs> While these fossils do represent fascinating transitions into new lifestyles, they don't represent large jumps in complexity. The differences between two-legged and four-legged creatures mainly come down to slight adjustments and how joints fit together. To see a truly large evolutionary jump, what researchers call a major evolutionary transition, we have to travel back much further in the fossil record. In the late 1830s, anatomist Theodore Schwann formalized the idea that the human body, instead of being a single living thing, is actually a collection of individual living cells. Today we tend to shrug this off as common knowledge, but think how amazing this is. You are a colony. 